Today we have Dr. Alice Wainwright Stewart, the president of Lakeline College, and she is here today to talk to us about the expansion of the vet tech and the healthcare aid program at Lakeland College through the funding from the Alberta government. And so thank you so much for being with us today, Alice. My pleasure, Thomas. And we are quite excited about this new expansion for our two programs. So first of all, I wanna identify for our veterinarian. Uh, those of you who've been following this know that there is a lot of need in our vet tech program. And we had 255 students on a wait list for 96 placements. So that is amazing for us. And, and of course, that's why the government has looked at some of these. They see the need and they are looking at and expanding where there is need. So that's one area. And so we'll be looking at that as an expansion in the vet tech program that following fall. And then in our healthcare aid, another area that is in great need of um, education, educational professionals to work in the healthcare field. And that will, uh, that expansion is for 111 seats over the next three years in that program. And we'll look at expanding our Lloyd Minister area to other communities within our Lakeland region. And so Alice, tell me how getting more seats for the program is going to help in terms of revenue and expanding the program and getting more people into the veterinarian field to help out in a field that is a little bit in need, especially in rural communities. For the vet tech program, the extra revenue helps us to ensure that the learning experience for these students is right up to par. We, are looking, we looked at expanding our online this last year and it still didn't cut it. So being able to have these extra seats and bring in more students will give the veterinarians in Alberta uh, an opportunity to have more students within their clinics, ultimately more employees within their clinics, which is short, which they need that. But also what it does is for, uh, in these rural communities, this is where we want, we're really looking for rural sustainability and for providing uh, students that are trained in the rural regions, they're more likely to stay within those rural regions. So if you look at the announcement from the government uh, that uh, came down on campus, they really looked at the expansion in the north rural regions. region. So that's 400 seats between Portage and um, our Northern Lakes, or not our Northern Lakes, but our Keanu, uh schools. So we are being able to look at healthcare aid, healthcare in particular, and those in the rural area to be expanded. And hopefully we'll have those students stay within the rural area. And so in terms of the healthcare side, the more seats, what specific positions are these seats fulfilling and what kind of programs are they fulfilling and how the expanded seats are going to help out the healthcare program as well? Yes, it's, it's a variety of healthcare areas for Lakeland. It's particularly the healthcare aid. I know for Portage, they're looking at uh, a practical nurse. I know up in uh, Keanu, there are other healthcare areas that they're looking at expanding to meet their needs as well. So it's really looking at that whole healthcare area in the rural areas to see, to provide extra opportunities for education, to be able to be trained in your region, to stay within your region, doing your practicum, and ultimately, hopefully working within the rural regions. Overall, all this expansion to these two major programs with Lakeland College, how is that going to help the greater part of Lakeland College? And what do you guys see the future of Lakeland College being with these programs expanding? Well, as you know, over the last three years that Lakeland has doubled their and, and at one point tripled their egg program. So we're looking at continual growth in the egg sector. And one of the areas, if we look at what's happened within our health area, our health and wellness area, that area has been a growing need for the, air, for the region, as well as will be a growing area in healthcare aid for our institution. We've spent a lot of time ensuring that both of those areas, they're highly regulated. They have um, accreditation 
processes that have to go through. So the rigor is a lot. And what it happens for our institution is it provides uh, making sure that we have the tools in place to ensure that our students are getting the quality education on campus that when it comes to providing writing those provincial exams that they are well equipped to be able to go out and pass their exams so that they can work in the field. Thank you so much for the interview, Alice, and all of the very important information for Lakeland College. My pleasure. Take care.